Hey guys, I mentioned on Twitter and Instagram that I was going to be doing a capsule wardrobe and if you don't know what a capsule wardrobe is, it's basically where you create a well thought out mini wardrobe made up usually about between 30 and 40 pieces, but that would be totally up to you. It's up to the person to choose however many pieces they feel is right for their capsule wardrobe. And you can change it out every three months by sort of taking out any, you know, unseasonal items or items that aren't fit for the next season. You can switch those out with ones that are that maybe you have stored away in your dresser or in a bin or something like that. I don't know how much storing away of clothes I'm going to do because I pretty much wear the same thing all year round out here but there might be you know maybe like a couple items that I would switch out you know as the season changes but basically I'm going to start with the preliminary step today which is uh, doing the wardrobe edit so there's certain items that I know that I have that I have stopped wearing maybe I loved them at the time of purchasing them and then you know they either stretched out or shrank or something happened or maybe I'm just not into the style anymore and you want your capsule wardrobe to be made up of items that are essential to you, items that you absolutely love to wear, and that are really versatile so you can get a lot of different outfits by mixing and matching them with the other pieces in your mini wardrobe. So the whole idea behind it is to make less, do more for you. I'm gonna start with accessories first because I do count these as part of my wardrobe edit and I wanted to let go of some of these longer necklaces that I no longer wear. I have a leather one in here that I just don't reach for anymore, especially since going vegan. So I'm gonna let go of that one and another long one and then keep um, some of my colored ones that I always wear. And then it looked a little bit barren so I just decided to change that whole basket corner and make it into like a plant corner instead. So I decided to put one of my orchids here because it's kind of an ideal space with how bright the corner is so I'm just gonna go ahead and change that up since I was already moving things around here so I'm gonna put my Oncidium orchid this is an Oncidium rosy sunset it's one of my favorite orchids and it is fragrant it smells delicious and it's gonna be very happy here because there's plenty of bright light for it and I also like that the blossoms match my orchid book and this will be a great place for the orchid book because it was too big to fit on my bookshelf the next section I want to go over is shoes and I'm going to start with Uggs and these Uggs I've had for several years and I've gotten a lot of use and wear out of them but I'm finally ready to let go of wearing Uggs especially since going vegan because I just feel like I'm advertising for them when I'm wearing them and I don't really want to do that anymore. And then there's some other pairs in here that I've had for a really long time and I've worn them to bits and there's hardly anything left of them. Some of them I'm going to hang on to a little longer because I'm on the fence about and some I'm just ready to let go of especially if any of these hurt my feet. Um, if shoes hurt your feet, it's okay to go ahead and let go of them if you just feel like you can't break them in, you know? And you don't always know that at the time of purchasing them. You have to kind of have them for a while before you find that out. And then there's some shoes that you might have really loved to wear and maybe something happened, maybe they stretched out or they just got worn out and you just can't really wear them anymore. I'll stop here with the shoes because there's some that I'm not sure about. I'm not really ready to get rid of so I'm going to wait and see and give it a little bit of time to think about them. And then I'm going to go through my belts. These are all of my belts and I used to wear belts almost every single day but I just really don't wear them very often anymore so I don't think I need to have this many as when I was wearing them all the time. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep one, my favorite one, and then I'll get rid of the rest. And I was storing them on this paper towel holder, but I'll just find another use for that. On the other side of the room, I have accessories that I wear or reach for almost on a daily basis, like my white ceramic fossil watch. I have a couple pair of sunglasses. My favorite sunglasses are Maui Gems. I also have these Diane Von Furstenbergs, but they tend to slip down my nose a lot, so I don't really like to reach for them very much anymore. So I'm gonna give those up. And then I have like a leather cuff and then a leather armband. So I'll add those to my donation bag and then I'm just gonna leave just the simple pieces. I've really just been into more simplistic accessories and I do like my wrap bracelets too. So I'm just gonna leave the jewelry that I have up here, kind of my daily pieces right there where they are. And then right next to that, I have this acrylic drawer set, which I plan to, right now it's empty, but I plan to keep um, like all my favorite crystals in there. And then I have a little Lotus uh, like crystal little glass piece up top there. I'm gonna have air plants growing out of that, um, but that's for a later project. There's a couple crossbody bags that I'm gonna remove from my clothing rack here. These I usually wear during summertime a lot, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pack those away. And now it's time to start on clothes. So what you can do is remove everything from your clothing rack, from your closet, from your dresser, and just kind of have an open space or on your bed, somewhere where you can just lay everything out and create three piles. So what you can do is sort it into a keeping pile, a maybe pile, and a donation or rag pile.
we'll just speed along through this part because you get the idea, but we will slow down for Harrison Ford on a Star Wars tank top. My favorite actor of all time. Love, love, love. And then after you get done sorting through all your clothes, take your keeper pile and put all of those clothes back where they go. So on your clothing rack, in the closet, back in your dresser, because those are the ones that you know you love for sure, you love to wear them often. And these are the versatile pieces that you wouldn't want to be without in your capsule collection or in your wardrobe in general. And as you're adding clothing to your keeping pile, I found a really helpful tip is to look at each clothing item and make sure it's a piece that you actually love to wear and not just a piece that you love the look of, but you don't necessarily love to wear it all that often. And when you're doing a wardrobe edit, you're probably gonna pick up on a pattern of the clothing that didn't work out for you. So with me, I definitely noticed that I had a lot of items that turned out to be either uncomfortable or itchy for me. Another pattern I found was that a lot of clothing that I was choosing was too bulky. I thought I was purchasing clothing for winter or colder weather and it just turned out that it wasn't really good for that either. Um, it wasn't really that versatile and it wasn't really made for cold weather, it was kind of more just for looks. So a wardrobe edit can actually really open up your eyes to any mistakes you've made with clothing in the past and it can really help you in the future know what to buy and what's actually going to work out better for you in the long run. Because what you really want is form and function. You want it to look good but you need it to perform well too and actually work in the type of weather and climate that you're in and really be functional for you. And your wardrobe is definitely one of those areas where quality over quantity comes into play. So right now I'm just finishing up going through my baby pile and there's a few that I went ahead and got rid of and then there was a couple that I decided to keep. I'm also getting rid of all of the hangers so I'm not letting empty hangers sit in my closet so they can just fill up again. And then this side of my room where I have my dresser, I cleared off all my makeup there so that's kind of a new look. But yeah, I just decided I didn't want um, to have a whole bunch of things sitting out on display anymore. And then in this drawer, this is just where I keep all my athletic wear, a swimsuit, I just have one bikini and one cover up. Um, my workout like shorts, sports bras, socks, things like that. Um, so I didn't really bother going through those because I already know what I have. And then I have like my pajamas and kind of like lounge wear down in that little drawer. And then on the other side, I have um, just where I keep like my hoodies and I have one pair of jeans. And I love that pair of jeans. I'm not gonna be getting rid of those, definitely not. And then this drawer has all of my shorts, which I wear shorts almost every day out here in Hawaii anyway. And then I have some tank tops in that drawer. And when you're doing a wardrobe edit, sometimes it's nice to take a break, like just go ahead and sleep on it or give it a few days and then go back and look at everything that you kept and you might still find items that you want to let go of. Like here's an item, I didn't even see this hole in it the first time I, I looked at this top and now that I know it has a hole in it, I'm not gonna wear it so I'm just gonna go ahead and let go of it and turn it into a rag. And you might also find that you want to do a little bit of reorganizing after you're done. So there's a couple of things that I want to switch around here. I had a stack of sweaters on what's going to be my bookshelf now. So I wanted to switch out my jeans that I had in the drawer, put the sweaters in there instead, along with the hoodies. And then the pair of jeans that I have, I'm going to go ahead and hang up and hang those in my closet. And you can also go through your other accessories like scarves, gloves, things like that and just determine if there's some that you just don't wear anymore. Like this scarf I just decided to go ahead and let go of because it was looking a little shabby. I wore it for years and it was time to finally let go of it. I had also decided to go back through my footwear and let go of any shoes or sandals that hurt my feet or were just too flat. Even if I did wear them still, I just decided that I really needed to take better care of my feet and I needed to invest in better footwear. So I had some cheaper shoes that I just decided to let go of. I kept my nice pair of Lucky Brand wedges, which I absolutely love. I had a pair of Clark sandals that I wear almost on a daily basis and I also invested in two pair of Nike shoes for just everyday wear. And these Nike shoes are so comfortable. I had them on my wish list for quite a while, so I was super stoked to finally get them. All right, so that wardrobe edit was definitely long overdue. Now I have a big bag of clothes to take in and donate. And after you've done a wardrobe edit, if you feel like you're missing certain items that are essential that you would really like to have in your capsule collection, then add those to a list. Add those to your wish list and be specific about the item, the color, and what you can really envision in your collection. And then when you come across that in the store, then you can feel good about purchasing that item because it's well thought out and you know 
know it's going to be something that you're going to love to wear. It's going to fit in your collection really well and work with your other clothes really well and be a versatile piece. So when you do go out shopping, and that's going to happen at some point because clothes are ever-changing, you'll have your wish list of items that you know specifically what you want for your collection. It's already been well thought about and it's for your curated mini wardrobe and it's not going to be an impulse buy that's just going to end up sitting in your closet and never getting worn. So all right, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching and if you want to see, I guess, the next, I, wait, am I doing a series? I don't even know what I'm doing here. Well, let's see. Wardrobe edit. I guess the next video I would do if I was doing another one of these would be like the building of the capsule wardrobe. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing more videos sort of as this process goes and I will keep you updated. Thank you so much for watching guys and have a great day. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.